So many people come to us with neck and shoulder pain. Our patient's symptoms improve immensely through acupuncture, but we also talk about what they can do for themselves outside of treatment. We talk about how posture is so crucial and how a healthy back and body is going to help you and will take you miles in terms of your neck and shoulder pain. Good posture is a daily practice and it can feel like a lot of work at first to maintain when you're doing normal daily activities. So many of the daily activities that we repeatedly do in our lives involve our arms and our hands out in front of us, extended away from the body. Think about it. You're on your computer, you're doing work, you're doing the dishes, the laundry, biking, driving, writing on a whiteboard, cooking, carrying kids, reading, using your phone. For Steph and I working on patients, the list is long. I could go on forever. Without good posture, the result is almost always going to be neck and shoulder pain. This also will include headaches and possible referral pattern pain down into your arms and hands. It can turn into numbness or tingling into your arms or hands. Let's go through some of the strategies that we talk about every day to help improve your posture and to avoid neck and shoulder and back pain. So the first thing that we wanna talk about is awareness. Awareness is the very first step. Having an awareness is a great place to start. How are you holding your neck and shoulders throughout your daily activities? Take note. Are your upper traps around your ears? Are you reaching forward more with one hand than the other, like when you're using a computer or a mouse, or driving your car? Is your shoulder extended? You can have somebody like a physical therapist or an ergonomic specialist look at your posture and assess your body position and posture in an area of your life that you spend a lot of time, like at your desk or on your bike, driving or carrying your kids. This is something that there are actually professional people out there to help you do. Number two would be using a natural pain relieving gel on your neck and shoulders throughout the day, kind of like natural Bengay to relax the muscles and enhance your awareness of the area. So when your neck and shoulders feel hot and tingly because you have coated them with this natural pain relieving gel, it's easier to maintain good posture when you are having that sensation while at the same time actually relaxing your muscles and alleviating soreness. Does this stuff really work? Yes, it does. If my shoulders are sore during a workday, a little Sombra or joint and muscle gel will go a long way to get me through my day without pain. And we are not affiliated with any of these companies. They are just the two that we happen to sell in our acupuncture clinic. Number three, you can use a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball to work out knots or adhesions in the muscles in your back. So you can literally pin a lacrosse ball against the wall, which will help you open up your shoulders and back and neck. So simply place the cross ball between your shoulders and the wall and use your body weight to apply slight pressure on the points of tension or soreness in your back. So hold on to the tender spot for a few seconds. Really press into it, not too much, and take a couple deep breaths and try to relax into the pressure so that the knot or the muscle can loosen and soften. And then move on to another area of tension and repeat this process for about five to 10 minutes a couple times a week. This can really go a long ways for people. Steph and I catch each other doing this in the clinic all the time. Number four, you can stretch your neck and shoulders throughout the day. Even though this seems so simplistic, this can be very helpful in terms of relieving neck and shoulder and back tension. People have no idea that they sit in poor postures for hours at a time. If you just move around a little bit, it can be so helpful. And those hours accumulate to create our problems. Our bodies are made to move. So take a few minutes every hour. You can even set an alarm to go through some range of motion positions, 
A few of our favorites are, one of my favorites that I do all the time is eagle arms. So just like this, opening up my rhomboids and kind of pressing in and down. The next one would be lateral flexion, just like this, pressing down with the opposite arm, forward, side to side. You can even add slight tension with your opposite arm, like I mentioned. That will get into your levator scapula, cervical erectors, and scalenes. The third one would be to put your arm to the side, and this is a little bit hard to demonstrate, and then pull your rhomboid out. This will is called thread the needle in yoga, and this will really stretch your rhomboids. And finally, child's pose in yoga, where you're on your knees with your arms stretched forward, that will stretch your lats and rhomboids. Number five, strengthening your back can greatly reduce upper back and neck pain. And this is a very common problem for people. One area of the back is strong while the others are weak. And if your shoulders and back are strong in a balanced way, you will only use the appropriate muscles needed for any particular movement rather than recruiting muscles that are not typically supposed to be involved. For example, so many people have so, many, so much tension in their upper traps right here because this muscle will get recruited all the time to do actions that it's not normally used for. So a lot of times the neck and shoulders are doing a lot of work that where the lats and rhomboids should actually be engaged. This is often because their mid backs and low backs are weak and not engaging properly and therefore not doing their share of the work. So if we can strengthen every area of our back, we achieve better balance and we use the proper muscles during a workload, which will decrease neck and shoulder tension and pain. So a few of our favorites are lat stretches. So this is an exercise that you can do at the gym where you are holding on a bar and pulling your lats together over and over again. We love external rotation to strengthen teres minor and major. We love seated rows to strengthen the rhomboid. Lat pull down for the latissimus dorsi, and then you can do arm slides on the wall for your rhomboids and lats as well. While this might seem like a lot to wrap your brain around and figure out how to incorporate into your daily life, I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it. These are just a few things that take just a few minutes and you can sprinkle them in throughout your day and your week. We say it all the time. These small additions to your routine will add up to big changes in a way that you will feel in your body, especially in your neck and shoulders. The project is you.